Hello to everybody, my name is Aleksandra Aleksic, I'm coming from oil industry of Serbia and on behalf of my colleagues I will try to represent you the results of our research from the from field of uh, oil and gas industry but in connection with the, the projects of uh, construction of uh, LNG terminals from the aspect of uh, ecological and safety point of view uh, primarily but uh, from the point of technical and technological point of view as well at the beginning maybe i can tell something about the basic terms we use here for those who are probably not so familiar with this topic lng <clears throat> is liquefied natural gas or natural gas with high content of methane that is uh, liquefied and stored at cryogenic uh, conditions on the temperatures below 165 uh, Celsius degrees. And uh, LNG uh, onshore terminals are uh, industrial facilities designed to accommodate uh, large LNG carriers or carrier ships uh, to load, carry and unload such kind of green energy or uh, hydrocarbon fuel. Some say that uh, LNG is fuel of the future, but we try to realize and highlight the advantages, benefits, but also specific hazards, uh, potential of this green energy. So, uh, what we wanted to highlight, we wanted to highlight the importance of optimal choice of tank types and capacities because uh, on LNG terminals, storage is probably more complex, the most complex and most important point uh, from the <coughs> aspect of uh, uh, safety and ecology uh, uh, as well. So, we try to highlight the role of proper design of these specific and rare projects, rare projects, because in the world there are no such, uh, there are no many uh, projects of this kind. And uh, the European Union policies uh, promote certain energy efficiency level with detention of plant reduction of carbon dioxide emissions. So, increasing natural gas consumption by reducing other types of fuels is one way to achieve such goal. So, LNG as a low carbon fuel is considered as environmental friendly, even fuel of the future with a certain potential for call out stage. And the basic goal in the construction of uh, onshore terminals is, and terminals as well, is a high turnover with the lowest possible investments but unfortunately frequent managing, management trends or uh, trends of project managers uh, are to reduce costs in terms of quality of works and equipment on the other uh, hand also unrealistic plans for transshipment sale and delivery also unreliable contracts with the future customers and suppliers significantly affect the scope and the type of equipment thus potential risks during construction and operation of the facility so again uh, this study was preferred to present the effect of the type and capacity of uh, LNG above ground storage on the chemical hazards uh, we chose one uh, planned project. We use data from uh, uh, available, all available data, but uh, for this study we focused on the underground uh, storage. <coughs> uh, but uh, underground storage, uh, which is also planned for this project, is not in the in the scope this time. There are many issues concerning LNG uh, terminals, but for this purpose we try to focus on two main groups of issues. First group is uh, 
group of energy issues and the other is, as I said, environmental and hazard risk issues. So, coastal in country has, of course, a natural convenient position due to, to, for the terminal construction, but uh, uh, storage with uh, 250,000 cubic meters or more is uh, issue itself. So, the risks connected to the such proje projects are uh, specific in relation to the characteristics of the fluid and the uh, storing conditions as well. So the type of LNG storage, we may say, play a key role in safety, whether the gas is applied to the storage or to the ter terminal by pipeline or by gas carriers. Uh, there are uh, too many uh, theoretical issues that are uh, very important for this topic, but uh, we chose to uh, go through theoretical overview concerning types of above-ground tanks. Uh, tanks for LNG are divided in several groups indeed and types, of course, by capacity, shape, position. But most important is division by number of containments and we focus in this case in above-ground tanks, uh, semi-burid or burid. Uh, and the storage system is uh, actually a buffer between the ship or uh, gas carrier uh, and the evaporator that returns the LNG to gas state. To decrease costs, designers tend to optimize the required tank capacity by reducing the number of tanks. And uh, one big tank implies uh, that organization of shipment and delivery is from the same tank, which further complicates the manipulative action. So, of course, there are such kind of tanks in the world, for uh, in the Japan, for example, and in, uh, I think, Australia. But uh, high amount of store LNG affects failures with probably catastrophic consequences and that is the topic that we like to that we will discuss later so uh, full containment tank implies high state safety and higher costs containment means a safety number of safety barriers so full containment tank has several uh, safety barriers and of course it is with higher costs so, uh, <clears throat> risks related to the LNG storage are different, but uh, for this purpose we will tell something about safety risks and environmental risks. Among safety risks, the most important are, of course, uh, spills and leaks or in the other words, accidental releases from tanks, pipes, hoses, pumps, and land installations. Consequently, risks of fire, different kinds of fire, high pressures, explosion due to the flammable characteristics of boil of gas. Uh, of course, risks of injuries, low temperatures in contact with cold surfaces. And uh, maybe most important process that could be neglected, and that is process or of uh, rollover due to different densities of LNG charges, because LNG uh, comes from remote sources, and it may differ slightly, but differ in the, some characteristics, especially in density. So. Of course, there is a possibility of impact of imbalance due to evaporation of the fluid because it is liquefied gas and uh, consequently increasing density increasing in bottom layers. So load induced satisfaction, there are effects of inner gas if it's applied in uh, career gas carrier or in uh, 
tanks, land tanks, and of course different kinds, uh, different kinds of chemical hazards like asphyxiation, gas leaking, intoxications with uh, sulfidic uh, acid, etc. And of course environmental risks. Among them are of course air emissions or methane discharge in the air, flaring, venting, combustioning, and wastewater discharges and spills. Uh, for example, cold water or different kinds of chemicals, biocides that are used due to air coolers and utilities on the site. So for, the, for this study, we conducted modeling uh, of the tank failure Having in mind that uh, different kinds of failures could happen in such complex sites, but we chose uh, tank failure to see and investigate what happens if uh, explosion and uh, fire <coughs> happen on the tanks with different kinds of capacities and what is the influence of such scenario on the width of vulnerable zones in relation to the single containment tank capacity. We chose such kind of tank because it is uh, uh, often on the sites in the world, probably because of the uh, cost. So, as you can tell from the pictures below, if uh, such scenario happened on the tank with 50,000 cubic meters uh, capacity and LNG leaked to the ambient and uh, because of uh, temperature differences uh, LNG in the tank is uh, stored at the conditions, cryogenic conditions, which means uh, temperature of uh, minus 100 and probably uh, 65 uh, degrees of Celsius, it will rapidly release and boil off, so there is a high risk of fire and explosion, and the width zone in that case is uh, 1.2 kilometers, which means that all surrounding objects and people at the site could be seriously injured and uh, probably with uh, fatal uh, outcomes. Of course, uh, if tank is bigger and if we have uh, probably five times greater uh, capacity, the width zone is wider, which means 2.2 kilometers for red zones red zone, uh, sorry, uh, 3.1 kilometer orange zone and 4.8 uh, kilometers for yellow zone. So we modeled such case for the real zone, zone provided for the construction and plan for the construction of onshore terminal and we modeled uh, actual site data of course, for the deeper analyze, it is uh, very important that you have uh, more data and more concrete data. So, for this study, as I said, we just uh, tried to, to conduct or some kind of short analyze and to uh, try to realize uh, consequences as, uh, and, as I said, uh, with zone, with of vulnerable zone in uh, the area. So we may uh, tell that uh, there are two kinds of considerations due to the construction of uh, LNG terminal, having in mind the fluid properties and the importance of the tank elements, and they are of course uh, related. So uh, LNG stored at cryogenic conditions, if rapid heated, it will induce a sudden mixing of the layers with different densities and uh, 
may result in a rapid release of oil of gas. So consequently, drastically rise the pressure inside the tank and uh, result in the dangerous rollover accidents. <coughs> and again, different fluid characteristics imply different uh, quality of LNG, uh, mainly density, and also result in the dangerous rollover accidents. So it is very important to say that decision on the type and the number of the tanks uh, in storage depends on many factors, uh, mostly in practice, I suppose, capital and operating costs, but also land surface availability, uh, uh, security systems uh, planned for the site uh, that are also related with capital and operating costs and uh, distance to the ponton and sometimes uh, having in mind the uh, protection from the external adverse events, natural disasters and uh, terrorist attacks, attacks, for example. So, tank uh, elements are very important and uh, all known and perceived conditions in these cases, affect the, de the decisions of construction material that would be used, uh, number of barriers or safety uh, barriers, the type and the thickness of the insulation, because insulation is uh, very important and has a major impact on evaporation rate, consequently, and uh, fires or uh, failures and explosions probability in tank. So number of tank containments directly influence the safety issues. And at the end, uh, I may tell that uh, urban environment limits the number of possible design solutions for onshore terminal due to Proximity to the inhabited city, the presence of natural, cultural and industrial facilities, existing legal regulation and special restrictions, both at sea and on the land. So, uh, in Montenegro, uh, Bigovica Bay have favorable special conditions for all elements of LNG onshore terminals, so we wanted to highlight from the technical and technological and environmental and safety uh, point of view that the optimal number of above ground tanks with optimized capacity significantly affects the general safety and play a key role for the design solution and overall project solution and success, I may say, also. On the other side, good and reliable contracts for future established gas delivery and uh, future manipulation line with determined strategy is second very important key factor for the design overall project solution and I may say uh, uh, project success at the end. So last but not least LNG storage design requires great care and cyclical review for even the slightest, slightest change of any condition at the project especially uh, in regard with high capacities and high planned turnover. So thank you very much. Uh, and if you have any... any uh, so again, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, we know that this topic is uh, very complex and very wide. So, for uh, this purpose and this case, we chose uh, very few elements, just having in mind the importance of the topic and the importance of technical and technological point of view, as well environmental and uh, safety point of view, because uh, such kind of projects probably um, are focused mainly on the investment and uh, cost issues so we would like to um, 
influence uh, future projects to have in mind those very, very important aspects. So if you have any kind of questions, feel, fee feel free to ask and con contact us. And uh, at the end, we provided uh, a few appendixes uh, just to uh, clear out some basic terms, as I said, and uh, maybe questions about the types of tank safety barriers and uh, construction and elements of tanks choices which means single containment, double containment, full containment, and uh, possible failures of inner container.